What's up guys, El Toro here and welcome to Alien Isolation. I have uh, been sitting on this one for quite a while now. But uh, since I figured Halloween is coming, why not do something uh, a little on the scary side? And uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, horror games. Uh, have, I have a few, but I don't, uh, I'll probably never play them. I have Amnesia probably never play it but I am a huge huge fan of the Alien franchise especially the first two films and uh, what I've seen of the previews of this uh, this game pretty much nails the uh, atmosphere of the of the first game of the first movie rather uh, quite well and uh, we apparently play uh, Amanda Ripley who have if you've never seen the extended version of the uh, second film, Aliens, uh, there is, in fact, an Amanda Ripley uh, mentioned that she does, in fact, have a daughter. And uh, she would have been about maybe 10 years old at the time of the first film. And uh, so we are playing her, uh, I'm guessing, 15 to 20 years later. So uh, I'm extremely excited about it. So uh, let's get started. Okay. Um, here's where I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, I don't want to go super easy. And I was looking at this uh, hard being the recommended way to experience the game. It's both challenging and terrifying. And then there's Nightmare, which, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But I'm a th I think I'm going to start on hard. And if if it starts just to become too difficult for me, I'll, I'll bump it down. But uh, I want to I wanna attempt to do it on the hard setting. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a 
permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Okay, here we go. And man, this looks just like the movie. That is awesome. Okay, move the keys to walk. Look at that. Oh. Did I just kick a shoe off my foot? Okay, it must have been on the floor. I'm so digging the detail already. It makes you feel like you're uh, you're in the movie. I mean, this thing was uh, was in the movie on the uh, dining table. <laughs> okay, guess we need to sign in. Explore the Torrens. Let's see, we've got our Samuels, and we have to get dressed. Okay. We can search. Got an SCJ injector and some scrap. Let's take it all. From what I understand, there is some uh, crafting in this game. Uh, you're not just given a full on weapon, you have to kind of make some makeshift type weapons. A bonding agent, a sensor, and some scrap. Taylor. Let's see, we have Connor. Nobody. And Verlaine. Got a photo of her family. And there's ourself. Okay, which way are we going? What's down here? Got a spacesuit. Looks just like the uh, ones from the movie.
Yeah, I guess we can't pick up every little thing we see. It's just, uh... Just a few things. Taking everything. I don't know, um... We got a terminal here. I don't know if we have, like, an inventory we can, uh... So use registration points to manually save your progress. They will, uh, they will warn you about something. I didn't get to finish reading it. I'm too slow. But I don't know if our like our inventory gets full or what. Okay, so this is a save point. This is where we would save our game. Can I search this one? So any of them that are lit up green we can open. What do we have here? Our crew roster. Okay. Everybody's signed in. They're all awake, waiting on me. All kinds of little details. You could probably read it if you had a high enough resolution. Bathroom. Oh, it's a shower. Well, that's not waste water. I'm sure uh, it doesn't come, uh, we don't have an infinite supply of it being on a ship. Okay, there was a terminal here. Let's see what this says. Let's see, up, down to highlight. Oops, I wanted to read that. E to select. See, Verlaine, you on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story, the megacorps undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station, what a shithole. Still, I hear Waylon Utani pay well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat him, right? Let's catch up when you get back, Blaine. Okay, uh, we are now dressed. Where are we? Uh, we wanted to go this way. Alright, there's a hallway. Uh, this one did not open, so we can't go any further, right? Yeah, it's not lit up, so that would indicate it's uh, locked or just not open. You just can't go through it. Let's see what's down here. Got anything we can grab? Got a dining area. Let's, uh, before we head in there, let's see what else we can find. Whoa. Oh, 
Is that Samuels? Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Okay, we've talked to Samuels. And we should probably go talk to Taylor. But not before we have a look around first. This looks very much like the uh, the room where Kane had the facehugger attached to his face. Even down to the sound effects, they nailed it. Which could be a bad thing. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty creepy. Okay. What's down here? Or have I already been this way? I get turned around really easy. I have like zero sense of direction. Okay. Yeah, we came from that way. Okay, we've been here. Down there is the dining area. This is where we got dressed. Okay. Yeah, and this looks a lot like the, uh, where Kane had the chest burster scene. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Alright, we'll head that way in a moment. I want to check everything out. Looks like some old, uh, old cassette tapes, man. And these would be ancient uh, in this year. I mean, they're ancient now. But look, it's like a, we can use it. To N. Taylor regarding the Stromo incident. Waylon Utani file. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files in the incident that happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Waylon Utani cargo vessel, the USC SS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew, apart from the new science officer the rest of the crew had worked together before, seven in all. Dallas, Captain, Ash, science officer, 
Kane or is it Kane, executive officer, Ripley, the warrant officer, Lambert, a navigation officer. And the Torrens Manifest. MSV 7760 Torrens, M Class Starship. Captain Verlaine Diane. Navigation Com Officer Connor William. Owner Verlaine Diane. Contractor Whalen Utani. Outbound and return transportation for Whalen Utani retrieval team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three Whalen Utani employees Samuels, C. Ripley, A. Taylor, N. Passengers Samuels, Christopher, Ripley, Amanda, Taylor, Nina. Number of decks, two. Number of crew, two. Interstellar communications antenna. Long haul hypersleep chamber. Communi uh, commercial passenger cargo ship retrofitted from a tow rig. Retains operational heavy duty tow umbilical. Okay, a lot of that is uh, somewhat gibberish to me, but it certainly sounds cool. Sounds authentic. All right, we we're supposed to head to the bridge, right? That looks like the bridge, but there's stuff to look at. Let's see. Uh, nothing. We can have corn flakes, bran flakes, or porridge oats. That's uh, pretty much <laughs> like the uh, employee dining area where I work. That's your choices of cereal. Milk, butter, cream, sugar. Yeah, I feel like I'm at work. Looks like Cheerios. Ketchup. Where did this go? That's where I came from. Thought I saw another thing we could open, but maybe not. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Collect your briefing document. Okay. Oh. That's Mother. Man, that looks so awesome. I want to go in there. I want to talk to Mother. What is this? Please order more of above. Okay. The sound effects are so reminding me of the movie. Everything had that old, clunky kind of technology. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Hello, 
Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrin. Say again? The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Boy, we are already in uh, a heap of trouble. Find help. All right. Um, let's get uh, out of this suit. to find a save point. Hopefully, uh, I can find one. There's one over there. Use registration points. Okay, they will warn you if enemies are nearby. That's what I missed earlier. Okay. Saving. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop the episode here before we move on any further. Um, I am super excited to keep going on, but I'm a little bit, uh, uh, maybe not nervous or scared, but um, uh, maybe a little bit of anxiety going on here because, I mean, I, I want to see it, but I know it's some stuff's going to jump out at some point and uh, it's going to be stressful, but uh, that's part of the fun. So, uh, this is going to be a, a great Halloween game to play, I think, you know, keep everybody on their toes. And, uh, so yeah, I will, uh, see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>